Now, it's one of our most beautiful and best loved creatures, but this particular furry mammal has always proved elusive, especially in Kent. In rivers across the country, lurking in the watery depths, there is an animal few of us ever see. The otter. This enigmatic creature, which once faced the very real prospect of extinction, has now returned to every single county in England. Everywhere, that is. Except for Kent. This is now the only place in the country without a recorded sighting of an otter. But why? And is there any hope they'll return? Could we once again see the elusive otter on the riverbanks of the Garden of England? To discover the answers to those questions, I'll be exploring the rivers of the southeast and beyond, and I'm hoping to spot an otter or two along the way. But what drove otters away in the first place? To find out, I've come to the Pevensey Levels in East Sussex to meet Fran Southgate from the Sussex Wildlife Trust. So 50 years ago, there would have been quite a lot of otters around here. Why did they all disappear? Um, mostly because of pollution in the rivers, uh, also because of a lot of wetland habitat destruction, and they were also hunted till 1978. It's really sad. Yeah, so they've been extinct in Sussex for about 50 years and we're finally seeing them coming back. So far, there's only been a few sightings in Sussex, but look further afield and it seems they're making a big comeback. Over the last four decades, our rivers have become less polluted and the otter population has responded. Now they're dotted all over, everywhere except Kent. So where's Kent going wrong? One man who should know is Peter Smith from the Wildwood Trust near Canterbury. He helps look after someone very special. This distinguished old lady is probably now the county's only resident otter. She's called Mrs Otter and despite her age, she still enjoys a brisk walk and a few lengths She's of the coming. pool. Come on, come and have some nice fish. Wow. Surprisingly friendly, actually. Well, I think, I think she just likes to meet people. But we'd never get the chance to see a wild otter in Kent normally, would we? No, well, we've got two problems. You've got the water quality and you've got the habitat. So our rivers, the big rivers in Kent, we've destroyed all of the bankside vegetation. Then the water inside the rivers is full of fertilizers. And that means bacteria grows and that takes all the oxygen away. So you've got less fish in the rivers, not enough to eat. So Mrs. Otter here wouldn't feel safe enough to breed. And that's why we've never had any breeding otters in Kent. One man who doesn't agree with Peter Smith is Tom Reed. He works for the Environment Agency, which looks after our rivers, and tells me the water here in Kent is perfectly good enough for otters. Pollution is what killed the otters. It's the chemicals that were used in, in farms, pesticides, many years ago. Today, water quality is very, very much better. It's improving and we're working hard to improve it, but it's not really the water quality that's the problem. That's not so what about habitat? Well, Tom Reed admits rivers here aren't always otter friendly because they're often dredged and straightened. But he says that's for a very good reason, to divert flood water away from people's homes. We have a problem in some places, for example, near cities, where the Environment Agency has to protect people and property from flooding. In those places, we can't create suitable habitat for otters, so there has to be this balance. But that balancing act between flood risk and wildlife doesn't just happen in Kent, it goes on all over the country, and it hasn't stopped otters making a comeback. So could there be another reason why otters continue to shun Kent? To find out, I've come to the River Itchen in Winchester, where you're more likely to see an otter than anywhere else in the country.
and few have seen more than otter spotter Graham Roberts. He's from the Hampshire Wildlife Trust and he shows me round the city mill where he's put in tiny cameras to record the animals as they return from their moonlit fishing trips. It's the Big Brother house for otters. That was an otter, that's a salmon jumping there. Wow. There you go, and he's actually Aww. caught it there. I'm having a, a good feast on, on Right the for the camera. Absolutely spot on. So how come these little creatures are so keen on shacking up in Hampshire, but not Kent? Graham has his own theory and his trusty otter spotting map to help explain it. Um, otters are doing very well north of Kent in Norfolk, Suffolk and Essex. And they do occasionally migrate across the Thames estuary, but then they don't seem to be doing very well. Now it's possible that they're getting hit by roads on busy motorways, they're hitting electrified railways, and unfortunately the population just isn't established. Is Kent any more dangerous for them than Hampshire? It's a much more busy county. You know, there's, there's traffic day and night. There is across the whole of the southeast, but that's going to get even worse. So it seems I'm best off trying to spot a wild otter in Hampshire, which means night vision cameras and a lot of patience. So we waited and waited. and waited a bit longer. Well, we didn't exactly expect them to come and parade in front of us, but two and a half hours waiting now. The excitement's fading somewhat. Come on, otters. They're out there somewhere. Not tonight. Back in Kent, it could be years before anyone sees a wild otter. So is anything being done to tempt them back sooner? On the River Stour, I find a watery clue. This grassy mound is a halt, an otter's home. Built not by an otter, but by a woman in wellies. Carol Donaldson is from the Kentish Stour Project. We've been building halts for the last 20 years doesn't look like very much at the moment, obviously just a mound above the water, but underneath there um, it's actually got two chambers and it's all brick lined, it's very nice, quite, quite the dose rest under there and it's got um, pipes that lead out into the river so the otter can come along the river, see this big hole and scramble up the pipe and into its nice warm hole, that's the idea anyway. So their homes are ready and waiting, all the otters have to do now is brave the county border. Their numbers are increasing all the time. I think the chances of them being back in Kent in the next 20 years are pretty high. We need to give the otters the right sort of fangside place to live. And if we can do that, then otters will come back to Kent. <laughs>